hey guys welcome back everybody hope you all are doing great guys today in this video we are going to discuss one scenario based network engineer interview question and answer and scenario is this in front of you as you can see in my scenario there are three routers router 1 router 2 and router 3 and there are three lans local area network LAN one is connected with router number one, where I am running subnet 10.1.1.0/24. This is local area network one. LAN two is connected to router number two, where I am running subnet 20.1.1.0/24. And LAN three is connected to router number three, where I am running subnet 30.1.1.0/24. Okay. Between router one and router two, I am running 12 subnet 12.1.1.0/24. And between router two and router three, I am running 23 subnet 23.1.1.0/24. And IP address on router number one, you can see it's 12.1. IP address on router two is 12.2. IP address on this interface is 23.2. And IP address on this interface is 23.4. Up after that, guys, in the routing table of router two, we have configured two static route, one for 20 subnet and one for 30 subnet here you can see this is the routing table of router 1 static routing table of router 1 right so there are two static routes 20.1.1.0/24 is reachable via 12.2 via this ip address router 2 ip address the gateway for router number 1 is 12.2 and 30 subnet 30.1.1.0/24 is also reachable via 12.2 right from this gateway both the lan are reachable apart from this router 1 you can see the routing table of router 2 in the routing table of router 2 i have installed this network i have injected this subnet 10.1.1.0/24 reachable via 12.1 reachable via router number 1 this is true and 30.1.1.0/24 is reachable via 23.4 via router number 3 correct so a static route on router number 1 and router number 2 is correct even you can see the static routing table of router 3 right 10 subnet is there 10 subnet and 20 subnet both the subnets are there in the routing table of router 3 and both the subnet are reachable via 23.2 means via this interface the gateway for router number 3 is going to be router 2 this interface ip address so a static route configuration is true right correct right you can see the routing table and now guys question is what here is the question if i will ping 30.1.1.1 from router number 1 will ping work or not so if i am going to ping from r1 if i am going to write this command ping 30.1.1.1 will ping work or no this is interview question and in most of the case in most of the case engineers are giving wrong answer people are giving wrong answer so now what is your answer see the routing table of all the routers are in front of you and there will be two more subnet in each routing table like on the in on in the routing table of router 2 there will be three more subnet which are directly connected in the routing table of router 2 there will be two more subnet both are directly connected and again here i will have two more subnet which uh, which are directly connected 30 and 23 on router number 3 right apart from it you can see a static routing on router number 1 router number 2 and router number 3 is right right correct so will ping work if i am going to ping 30.1 let's say here here ip address is 30.1 or here is the user whose ip address is 30.1.1.1 right the gateway ip address is let's say 30.100 so here i have configured 30.100 as a gateway and here is one user whose ip address is 10.1.1.1 right gateway ip address can be anything live i am not talking about any user in this subnet i am pinging 30.1.1.1 from the global mode from the privilege mode of router 1 will ping work or not will ping work so pause the video and share your answer in the comment section just tell me your answer in the comment section first after that resume watching this video and guys if your answer is no that ping will not work then only you should then you should even not watch the video that means you are right but if your answer is yes 
if you are saying yes because route is there in the routing table of router one so ping will work then definitely you should watch this video because right answer of this question is no ping will not work now let's understand why ping will not work because guys when i am going to ping 30.1 from router number one source ip address will be what source ip will be the exit interface ip address router one is going to check the routing table in the routing table this ip address will match in this subnet 30.1.1.0/24 and this subnet is reachable via 12.2 and to forward traffic to 12.2 this is going to be my exit interface right so what is the ip address on exit interface 12.1 right so source ip will be 12.1.1.1 destination ip will be 30.1.1.1 now router 1 is going to forward this to router number 2 router 2 is going to again compare destination ip address with routing table destination ip is 30.1.1.1 it will match in this entry it will forward traffic to router number 3 right router 3 is going to receive the traffic and it will forward to the user 30.1 to this user now this user is going to generate reply message in the reply message source ip will be 30.1.1.1 and destination ip will be what source is 12.1 so 12.1.1.1 is the destination now pc will forward it to router 3 router 3 is going to compare destination ip address with routing table now you tell me is there any route available in the routing table of router 1 where this ip address is matching no <laughs> no right so ping will not work so guys answer of this question is no ping will not work because reverse path is not available on router number 3 this is the answer so that's all for today this was a small uh, scenario right from this scenario interview is asking question multiple sign time so that's why i thought to cover this topic so this is a small video okay now guys if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button if you have any question query concern please let me know in the comment section and if your answer was yes then must type yes in the comment section right say yes in the comment section i will get to know that your answer was wrong and this video was helpful for you that's all guys bye bye thanks for watching i will see you in the next video